A true marvel in the world of mobile phone engineering, the iPhone 5 is amazing and that is a fact. What's not exciting is the fact that we had to go through 5 iPhone generations with very little change to get to where we are today with the iPhone 5. Knowing how much controversy, debates and arguments are made towards the iPhone 5 and its best friend Android in the Galaxy S3, I'll try to keep the bias and opinion on Android at a minimum in this review. However, I do want to let you decide whether the iPhone 5 really is a quote unquote marvel in engineering and whether or not it's a true rival to the top dogs of Android. Although specs to me are not as important versus actual usability of the iPhone 5, it's well stocked when it comes to power. It now features an A6 chip that is still dual core, yet outperforms the A5 found in the 4S by double. And 1GB of RAM now found in the core only helps keep the 5 running at full speed no matter what the task. Screen of course has been elongated vertically to 4 inches and is now 18% thinner and 20% lighter than its predecessor. Several other additions worth mentioning are the addition of LTE 4G speed capability, better audio both in the microphone and speaker, better performing front 720p and rear 8 megapixel cameras, and I don't know why but the new lightning dock connector is a big deal as the old 30 pin has not been redesigned in nearly 10 years so this change is welcome. Actually, usability is really incredible, nothing new from the old iPhones, but just a sheer refinement of what we all experienced on other iPhones. Pages load quicker, videos load faster, 30 megabyte apps download near instantaneously on the 4G LTE speeds, and overall the user experience feels even better in a small way. First off, I did want to let you guys know that the only thing that bothered me about the iPhone 5 was the fact that they changed a little bit here and there. The screen just got a bit bigger, speakers just a bit clearer, just a bit lighter, a bit thinner, and sure this means a better phone for new users, but what about all those still sports? a 4s or 4. I really don't know how Apple does it but after seeing the next big thing you look down on your old iPhone and it just looks like a big fat brick that you need to get rid of and buy the new iPhone desperately. And does it work? Of course. And I do feel terrible for all the people wasting hundreds just to get that little improvement. Now to sum it all up the iPhone 5 is an amazing update to the iPhone line. You really do get it all with this model, the screen size, the camera quality. It's a true marvel of mobile engineering and so much more but it is hard for me to recommend for current users of the iPhone 4s or 4 as there is little difference between them and with a jailbreak you can make up for that difference by installing exclusive features on the iPhone 5 on your jailbroken 4s or 4 and of course I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Now if you guys do have a 3GS or older iPhone or if you're new to iPhones I would recommend getting the iPhone 5. It is a great place to start, a very good investment. Now hopefully I did help influence your decision in deciding to purchase the iPhone 5. Like and favorite this video please as it does help me tremendously and if you have any questions regarding the iPhone 5 or this review, if you have any comments to leave please leave them down below. I am looking forward to it. And of course subscribe for all the good stuff on iOS 6 and iPhone 5 that I will be posting on this channel. Be sure to enjoy your iPhone 5 should you decide to buy it. Peace.